So this week we have a bit of a technical video I want to share um, and that is how to align your um, next generation sequencing read to a reference to a reference genome. And there are a lot of different tools to uh, to do this. Um, but I am going to be showing you how to use bow tie today. So what exactly are we doing today? Well, we're going to take the reads that come out of a of a next generation sequencing machine. Um, and we're going to map them onto our reference genome. So this is the first step um, in analyzing uh, in analyzing your um, your samples for next generation sequencing. You need to map it to a reference genome. So if your experiment involves variant discovery, like mutations, um, structural variants, uh, detecting indels, that kind of thing, you will need to um, align your um, your reads onto a reference genome uh, before you can analyze uh, or look to find your variants of interest. So really mapping um, your reads to the reference genome is the first key step here. So if you're not too familiar with how next generation sequencing technology works, um, I'm going to link this page by uh, by Illumina that sort of gives you a, a, an overview of what's going on here. Um, so it's useful to have a look at that before you watch the rest of this tutorial video. Um, you can read through all of these uh, notes, uh, but I think this video here is a fantastic um, uh, overview of how NGS works and you can understand what, what, what we're talking about by reads. Um, uh, which we're going to be mapping to the reference. So just spend a little bit of time to understand what's going on with next generation sequencing. So let's talk a little bit about where my data came from. So I downloaded um, uh, FASTQ files, uh, read files from, uh, from NCBI's uh, sequence read archive. Um, and this is the this is the page for the for the sample that I downloaded. So I chose this sample because it's quite small. It's only 142 megabytes, um, and some of this data can be tens, maybe maybe hundreds of gigabytes big. So I've only chosen this because it's small. So you should be able to download it and and follow along with me. Um, if you're not sure how to download this data, I have a video on how to download um, sequencing data using this using the um, SRA toolkit uh, from from NCBI. So make sure you watch that video if you want to download the data and follow along. Um, but this this is the accession number that you will need to um, to download the data. So this is a um, a sequencing experiment, uh, a targeted sequencing experiment for uh, the gene TP53, which is a uh, which is an oncogene. So you can see a bit more about how, uh, how where this data came from and uh, how it was sequenced here. This is one of the really good things with uh, with NCBI. Uh, not all samples are this well documented, but when you do find well documented. Um, uh, samples it's quite it's it's useful it's handy so I downloaded this data set and this is what we're going to map to our reference um, to our reference genome which I'm going to talk about in a little bit if you saw uh, my video last week you will know that hg38 is the is the human reference uh, build that you should be using if you have uh, if you have the option and we do have the option here. So I'm going to be using HG38 as a reference. Uh, so you can download it from here, but as I mentioned in that in that video from last week, you can you can get HG38 from a few different places. But I'll link to this uh, NCBI um, webpage where you can just download it. Uh, we need to do a few things to it before we use it though, and I'll talk about what those are and how to do those. Uh, but before we do that, uh, let's talk about the tools that we need to um, to do our alignment. So first things first, we need Bowtie 2. Bowtie 2 is a uh, is an aligner, so it'll map your reads to a reference genome. So obviously we need uh, we need that tool. Um, so I downloaded it with uh, using Anaconda. So if you don't know too much about um, about Anaconda. Don't worry too much about it. Just 
download it onto your machine um, and follow along here and then you can kind of learn what it does uh, later. I might do a video on on, um, on Anaconda and, and, and Conda um, uh, in, in future weeks, but we don't have too much time to talk about it today, except to say uh, I just downloaded all my tools using, um, using Anaconda. So yeah, when, when you do have Anaconda, it's as simple as copying this command right here pasting it into the command line and enter and then and then Condo will go to work installing um, installing that package. So it's not just Bowtie 2 that we need. We also need SAM tools for for this job, um, which will become apparent when uh, when we get to uh, indexing our reference genomes and and that bit. Uh, for now, just download uh, SAM tools using a uh, Condor install again using this uh, using this command into the terminal, and uh, and have it ready to use. So that's all the tools that we need. Um, let's get to uh, mapping those reads to the reference. So actually, before we uh, before we start actually doing anything, it all it's always worth. Um, it's always worth looking at the um, web pages for any of these tools because they're usually really, really well documented. Um, so Bowtie 2 is quite a popular um, aligner. Um, and you can see it's got a lot of documentation, most of which you don't really need to concern yourself with. Um, but it's useful to know that there is documentation for, for the most popular tools out there. Um, and if you have any, if you run into any issues, you can um, you can just refer back to them. So now that we've got Bowtie two installed on the machine, uh, you can also get those or some of the help um, from the help page I showed you earlier um, in the in the command line. So when you do Bowtie two dash dash help, uh, it'll give you uh, the usage right here and it will give you uh, the options that you can have and it will also detail all the options um, that you can what the options mean that you can uh, pass into into the tool to make it work like with the help pages most of these you don't need to worry about them but some of them um, are uh, are interesting and they're good to know and i'll talk a little bit about them as we go through the tutorial but most of the options really you only need to worry about them when you're doing very specific types of work. Um, so for example, uh, one of the options here is BAM and this uh, is for passing in unaligned BAM files, which you don't really come across that much. Um, you don't really see unaligned BAM files. Um, so you probably would never have to worry about um, about uh, unaligned BAM files or that option. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is um, index our reference um, file into a into an index that Bowtie will understand. So you would have downloaded HG thirty eight um, from uh, from the website earlier, and it'll download this faster this faster file, which is which is kind of the standard format for um, for sequencing data. But Bowtie can't do anything with that. We need to uh, we need to index it. But Bowtie does give us a tool to um, to to index uh, to index reference genomes. So that tool is called Bowtie two dot build. So it'll be Bowtie. In fact, I'm just gonna do that. So yeah, let's go through what's going on here. So bowtie2.build is the is the program that you're going to run to to make that index. And then you pass in your fast A file, uh, your HG38 fast A file. Um, and then this bowtie2 option here um, is just the sort of the prefix for the index files that will be created. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But it might be helpful to see um, to see how Bowtie to index, uh, how Bowtie to build wants you to um, to use it. So if we do Bowtie to dot build dash dash help, so here you can see that you've got Bowtie to dot build. You put your reference in, 
and then you put the um, index base. So yeah, there's not much uh, else you need to worry about here. Um, so if we clear that, and yeah, that will be the command you would um, you would run to make an uh, an index of your um, of your HG thirty eight uh, reference file. So you have to make sure that you're running this in the directory where your index file is. If it's not, if you're not running it in the in the directory where the index file is, you have to specify the absolute path to the to the index um, to the to the reference file. So I've already uh, indexed my um, my reference genome, so I'm not going to do it again just to save us a bit of time. But this is a this would be the outcome if you were to run that command. So if we do ls dash l, so you can see this is my this was my um, my downloaded uh, hg thirty eight fast a file, and remember you pa oh I passed in that bowtie uh, prefix. So every one of these uh, index files created by Bowtie Build uh, have this prefix of Bowtie. This can be anything you want, really, but yeah, but I think Bowtie is a, is fine just to avoid a bit of confusion. So each file is Bowtie dot whatever the rest of the index is. So that's all we need to do for indexing the reference file. So uh, Bowtie two can understand uh, what to do with it. Okay, so let's remind ourselves of how uh, Bowtie 2 works. If we do Bowtie 2 dash dash help. So again, you don't need to worry about most of this. Really, we're interested in the usage here. So we do Bowtie 2 and then we pass in the, uh, the indexed uh, reference file here after the X option. And then we'll pass in our read one and read two. And this should make sense to you. If you watch that Illumina video, um, uh, you will know what read one and read two refer to. Okay. So this is the command that I'm going to be using to, to do my alignment. So I'll just go through it quickly now. So we've got bowtie two. Um, I've gone for very fast local alignment, uh, as, I, as I mentioned earlier. Um, and in the X here, I've passed in... Um, the directory to my um, to my reference file index for Bowtie two with with Bowtie two build, and I've passed in that first um, prefix to the index files that I mentioned earlier when I talked about Bowtie two build. So you only need to specify the prefix uh, that you specify. You don't need to specify the index files themselves. I'll show you what I mean now. So if you look at um, at these index files that were made by Bowtie 2 build, uh, you can see they all start with Bowtie 2 and then a suffix, Bowtie 2 suffix, and so on. So you only need to specify this Bowtie 2 um, into, uh, into the reference argument to make Bowtie work. You don't need to specify the fast A file. You don't need to specify each one of these just the just the prefix so that's what i have here uh, the directory and the prefix to the index files and then for my one here um, i've passed in my uh, read one fast q files and two i passed in my read two fast q files um, and then i've specified where i want the um, the sum file to be dumped so it's just going onto my desktop um, and this dash s is 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 the option to output a sum file. As far as I know, there's no other options for output files in Bowtie two except for SAM, which is not very convenient. But we'll talk about that in a little bit, and we'll we'll talk about how to fix that with SAM tools. Okay, so before we take a look at what to do next with that sum file we just created, um, let's just take a quick look at it and just just see that it is it is there and we have actually made a sum file. So I've just um, done cat um, the path to the um, to the sum file and I pass that into less so it doesn't just take over the entire. 
um, display. So this is just the standard specification of a SAM file. Um, if you scroll all the way down, we'll start to see some sequences. So yeah, we've got all these sequences. So most analyses in in um, in genomics will not use SAM files. They will use they will use BAM files. Um, SAM files are essentially um, human readable um, in that you can kind of see um, if you if you look back at my video on the specification of SAM files, you can decode what all this means. So. Um, you can easily read what's going on here. Well, not, not easily, but you can read what's going on here. Machines can't read um, this information very easily. So you have to convert this into a BAM file or a binary alignment map, where this is a sequence alignment map. That's what SAM stands for. So to convert this into a sequence alignment map where we can do more useful uh, work with it, we use uh, SAM tools. So because this is more of a uh, tutorial for Bowtie 2, I won't go into too much detail on the SAM tools um, command here, uh, but I will um, just say that this is the command that you would type in uh, to turn your SAM file into a BAM file to make that conversion. So it's SAM tools view and you've got this dash S. Um, so I think this will detect automatically what format you're putting in. So we're putting in SAM here, but this option will automatically detect uh, that format and this dash b here is specifying that we want to output a bam file here so you can also output a cram file which is which is a whole other thing that i won't go into right here but we're, we want to generate a bam file so i've done dash b here so if you just press enter Okay, that was quick, uh, much quicker than I thought, but yeah, that's it, done. So um, I'll just show you what um, what I meant earlier when I said um, some files are human readable and BAM files are machine readable. So if we cat this SAM file and then type that into less, so again, you can you can read what's going on here. Um, I'm not going to decode it, but you, if you if you know how to decode this information, you can easily see what's going on here. So you can see chromosome seven. Uh, that's probably the position, um, and so on. But if we cat the uh, BAM file that we've created here. Type that into less so you can see this there's no way any human is reading this so this is um this is machine readable only any any work that you do from this point on will be working with BAM files so uh, there will be no programs that will work with some files which is why I wanted to show you um, what to do with the SAM file generated by Bowtie 2 so maybe I'll do a tutorial for SAM tools another time, but for now, this is as much detail as I go into on, uh, on SAM tools, um, which is that it's useful for turning our, our SAM file generated by our sequence aligner into a BAM file, which we can use to do, um, to do further downstream processing. So that is it for this video. This was simply um, aligning your reads from a sequencing experiment to a reference, uh, to a reference sequence. So in this video, we didn't go into the details of, um, of quality controlling FASTQ files or quality controlling uh, BAM files. I think those two are entirely separate uh, videos on their own, so I didn't show them here. So this was uh, very much just a, a tutorial for, um, for aligning with uh, Bowtie 2. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.